Today, the nation commemorates National Vietnam War Veterans Day, honoring the service and the sacrifice of Vietnam War veterans. This day established through the Vietnam War Veterans Recognition Act of 2017, and it marks the withdrawal of the last combat troops from Vietnam more than 50 years ago, and paying tribute to more than the three, to the more than 3.4 million Americans who served during that conflict. The National Veterans Memorial and Museum is honoring those war veterans today and, and should be every day. Retired U.S. Army Colonel Bill Butler joining us now. He's the acting president of the National Veterans Memorial and Museum. I mentioned uh, the significance of this day. Thank you. It is a pleasure to talk to you. I appreciate you being here this morning. It's also of high importance that we reflect and, and honor this service. Um, tell me your thoughts around this day and the recognition. Yeah, so thank you for having us, morning. I really appreciate it. Uh, you know, it's important for me for a number of reasons. Um, so my dad had done two tours in Vietnam when I was a, a baby. I was born when he was on his first tour and then was a toddler on his second. But then my father-in-law also did two tours of duty in Vietnam. And when those men and women came back from their service, based on the, you know, the, the, uh, the, the um, you know, the divide in our country and, and how, um, uh, divisive the war was you know in many cases they were guilty they felt guilt uh they they felt shame when they came home they were called baby killers they were spit on they came home as individuals they didn't come home to great fanfare so when they when, you know they endured that they came home and they they vowed never again will that happen to future veterans and they didn't let it happen so when men and women deployed or redeployed back from desert shield desert storm afghanistan iraq somalia uh, other conflicts that we've sent men and women into harm's way for. We came back to great fanfare. We came back to parades and hundreds of people on parade fields and signs, and we didn't endure what the Vietnam veterans did. So this is our opportunity to right a wrong and to give back to those men and women who endured uh, what you know was a shameful moment in our history. And Colonel, there were six million Vietnam War era, era veterans that are still alive today, which means there are also millions of Americans still alive today who did not properly welcome uh, these servicemen and women back home. Do you feel that they're getting the proper honor now? How, how has it changed in the last 50 years to bring us to this moment? Yeah, so it's it changed in that, you know, if, if you self-identify as a veteran, you've got some sort of, you know, T-shirt or hat on uh, that, that you know, shows that you served in, in our military. Quite frequently, people will, you know, they'll see you in a coffee shop or at, you know, a store, and they'll buy you a cup of coffee or thank you for your service or stop and, you know, have a conversation with you to learn more about your service, you know, if you're waiting in an airport lounge or whatever. So I, I think that the nation has certainly uh, made a significant effort and you know reaching out to men and women who served and to acknowledge their service you know in many cases they they were draftees they were just doing what they had to do they didn't have a choice uh you know we've had an all-volunteer force for 50 years now and so the you know the men and women who've served our country for that period of time are all volunteers but those who served in vietnam in many cases were not uh so learning a little bit more about their service and and you know how it impacted them and their families is important yeah take a moment to have that conversation in the meantime we're looking at a live shot from washington dc there are more than 58,000 service members whose names are memorialized on the vietnam veterans memorial wall talk a little bit about some of the other exhibitions that are happening today around this honor yeah, so there's a number of museums throughout the country that are uh, holding these welcome home ceremonies. And the Department of Defense, uh, for really the last five or six years, has made a concerted effort, and uh, they they encourage communities to do just what we're doing here in Columbus at the National Veterans Memorial and Museum and have ceremonies. I, we just finished our ceremony upstairs uh, right before I came down, and we had about a, you know 200 people and probably 50 Vietnam vets, and we welcomed them into the. Uh, our great hall and we had a military band playing and kids with signs and you know this is standing ovation for them so you know it's uh, springtime and I'm sure pollen is in the air but there are very few dry eyes in the house as uh, these you know, men and a few women got the recognition and welcome home that they, that they all deserve. Yes, uh, late in coming, but important to do it now. And as I said, every day, Colonel Bill Butler, uh, thank you for sharing uh, the, the honor of the service today. And thank you for your personal service and to your dad as well. Thank you, Marnie. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.